Here is a quick review on Turblown EW Kit for FD3S RX7. Um, I first heard about the EW Kit back in early 2000. Uh, not this kit, but just EWP in general. I did some research, but it wasn't until I attended PRI uh, back in December of last year uh, to learn about the Davis Craig EWP. So the Turblown Kit, which contains um, EWP 150 from Davis Craig and Davis Craig um, the EWP controller which controls the stock fans or any type of fans that you want to control um, which is based up on water temperature um, Turbolone kit comes with a couple of things uh, I don't know if you guys could see it the, the thermostat replacement which um, it has, it's adjustable so that the flow can be achieved. Um, the opening could be either smaller or fully open and the water pump replacement cover. Um, so that is what Turbolone kit comes with. <clears throat> These are the box that uh, made by Davis Craig. And let me show you my installation. Here's my FD. <clears throat> it's a BNR Stage 3 with um, Cosmo upper and lower port matched. Um, made about 380 at the wheel. Um, uh, it's set up as a sequential with um, full function engineering rails etc um, and the where I mounted the EWP is down at the bottom I don't know if you guys see it um, that is the EWP it requires two wires <clears throat> and also you need to place your um, water temp sensor uh, you could either mount it in between the um, it actually comes with a adapter for what attaching the water temp um, I actually tap the thermostat housing and place the, the sensor uh, right in right in there um, very easy installation took me maybe hour and a half um, main, main thing is just running the wires and etc um, very simple <clears throat> also, you do not have to hard mount the EWP. So, my EWP is actually just floating and held on by the radiator hose. <clears throat> now, I'm going to give you a quick um, demo on the EWP itself and how it works. Um, here is my controller. <clears throat> so the controller, I'm gonna just I'm not gonna start the car, but I'll just give you a quick how it works. So controller has a um, setting for where you want the what temperature you want to control. Um, you change that by pressing this button on the side you can set to 90, 100, 60, etc. I set it at 85 and what the controller will do is when you first crank and it's actually a very quiet pump um, and you're not going to really hear it at all even when you're right there and let me show you how the pump works <clears throat> really quiet and once in a while it will pulsate when you first start until desired temperature is reached I don't know if you could hear it but it's running right now and then it shuts off and it will keep doing that until the set temperature is reached at startup which is a great benefit. Once 
the temperature is reached. Let me see if I could focus it back on. This is your fan, and this tells you the EW, EWP is running or not. And then the fan will rotate when um, the controller turns the fan on. So this is a great, great feature. Um, also another benefit is that when you actually shut the car off, EWP controller will stay on and it will bring the temperature back down to the desired temperature within about five degrees. I ran this kit for a little over a month. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a phenomenal upgrade. I, I highly recommend to uh, any rotary owners because the benefit is huge, um, especially um, when you're shutting down. Uh, it will circulate the water and it will also control the temper uh, control the fan. So when the um, water temp is too high, the fan will kick on after shutdown, circulates it, and then when it's around, in my case, I'm set at 85, around 90 degree, I notice that the the EWP will completely shut down and cools the engine down. Anyway. Uh, I will also upload this video and put a link to Turbo uh site so that you guys will know where to purchase this. Thank you.